get in between your nose like leprosy Using mental telepathy, my treachery Stretches over centuries, I never meant to be Reincarnated, matter of fact If it was up to me, I wish that I had never been created I'm swinging swords, swords and finical cords Walking through forbidden doors, hidden with inside of the wall People grimace when they witness business of the bloody instance So keep your distance, the smell of bodies is covered by incense I show no mercy, blood splats upon my hockey jersey Similar to physicians in rooms of emergency So fuck the gats, I'd rather hit you with the axe Laugh while your skull cracks, but I'm still not happy Turning red blood cells into dead blood cells Using microscopic utensils within your entrails Pushing the limits of your chromosomes Sitting on the throne made of human bone Talking to mice or in the phone I walk alone into pandemonium Utilizing plutonium to build a bigger, better, stronger weapon I sense the presence of great evil So I embrace and train every bit of the power source conceivable Bringing about the beginning of ending I'm sending a crucifier Tending to your so-called messiah Within the fire, I eulogize planetary Demise, feeling energized as another planet dies And nothing could ever really make me give a fuck about Anything you care about, so why even bother? The blood I spill could fill the entire New York Harbor So hang a holy father and light the candelabra Killing myself to live I couldn't even begin to explain The effects of the drugs on my brain Nothing positive could influence the trip I take I'm driven by the negativity I used to get Without a doubt the bloody body count increases You fall to pieces My mouth releases terminal diseases And everywhere you look There's another dead fucking schnook Hanging from a bloody meat hook I always keep a smile on my face So I can hide what's really going on inside of my mind I feel nothing and therefore I am nothing I thrive upon your suffering And there's nothing that makes me feel happy Why didn't you dump on video games enough? Um, well, I mean, why play video games? Uh, the, uh, in 10 seconds, I can I can very quickly sum this up. There's a video game called Grand Turismo, where you select which car you want to drive and select which road you want to drive, and then you sit in the house of your mother's basement and pretend to drive that car on that road. I, because I've done the work, pick the car I want to drive, because I have all of them, and pick the road I want to drive, and I drive there, and I get to do it IRL. So it's a substitute for real life. That's it. That's it. So um, it's a lazy man's way of feeling like he's achieved something because video games are made to be completed. Every level was designed. Okay, let's make it this hard, but they need to complete it. Life, you can actually fail it. Life isn't made to be completed. Not everyone doesn't end up here. So ignore all that stuff you read on the internet about your time will come, be patient. No, no, everyone is born broke and dies broke. I would love to see you guys stream Street Fire. That won't ever happen. Um, I don't believe in streaming video games. I believe that if people are going to watch me, I'm going to give them something worth watching and give them some information worth hearing. Video games are entertaining and they're addictive because yes. they're designed, they and that's why I don't. That's why I don't play them because even I will pick up a game, start playing it, and go, "This is pretty fun." But it, it's like, but then what? What do you get? There's nothing at the end. Of it. There's nothing at the end of it. And what's actually interesting is that video games mimic. Video games mimic achievement perfectly. Oh, I, I got, I've got, i leveled up. Oh, this. And they're giving you that joy and that dopamine from achievement because yes. it's much easier just to move your thumbs than to get up and get it in the real life. And that's, is, and that's, that's, why, that is and that's why people get addicted to them. So but yeah, a whole bunch of people wasting their lives, man. And, and, and it's their prerogative, but it isn't my prerogative. And these are exact same people who complain at the same time. The only problem with video games is they are very fun. They are entertaining. 
I agree with that, and I understand why you guys like to play them all day. I could even play video games all day if 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 I decided to. Yeah. The reason I don't, the reason video games could be detrimental is because video games are the only thing in the world where, on your progress path, if you do not reach the pinnacle, you do not learn any skills which are translatable. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you decide to become a world champion kickboxer and you don't pull it off. Even if you don't pull it off. On your way, you would have become stronger. On your way, you would have met important people. On your way, you would have become braver. You would have learned yeah, a whole bunch of yeah. things. Where the video game, if you don't manage to get paid like you guys do, if you don't manage to get on the team, mm -hmm. the day you finally give up, you have learnt nothing. Then you, you just, have wasted, you just wasted all your time. You wasted all of your time. It's a huge dead sink. So that's the only detriment. That's the only bad, the, the disadvantage to video games are if you don't pull it off, you don't get anything. Whereas in the real world, if you don't pull off your dreams and aspirations, usually you gain something upon the way, right? If you try and start a business, even if it fails, you will learn things. If you try and if you try and bench press 300 pounds and you can't, you'll still get stronger on the way. Video okay. games are binary. It's either you make it or you don't. And if you don't make it, you've wasted years. Twitch is important for you.